This video shows a laparoscopic Roux-en-Y gastric bypass and is meant to illustrate how to effectively make use of your surgical instruments, minimize your movements and use endoscopic guidance and anastomotic revision. The patient is a 54-year-old lady who has been obese since childhood. She has a BMI of 54. She has consulted with obesity specialists and dietitians and has tried various forms of therapy to lose weight, to no avail. Her medical record is impaired glucose tolerance, severe obstructive sleep apnea, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, gastroesophageal reflux disease and Barrett's esophagitis, non-alcoholic steatosis of the liver, lower back pain due to spinal stenosis for which she may need surgery, her mobility is very limited and she's dependent on crutches. Osteoarthritis involving both knees. The patient is in the supine position with the leading surgeon to the left of the patient and the camera and the assistant surgeon to the right. Five trocars were used, four of which were 12mm ports. The reason for this is that the stapling device will be used for all four of the 12mm ports. A 3D camera with a flexible tip was used. Its port is a 10mm trocar. The first port is placed in a vision just beneath Palmer's point on the left, 20cm from the xiphysternum, in the midclavicular line. The second port is placed high up, just below the xiphysternum, directing downwards towards the patient's left hand side, in order to facilitate the construction of the enteroenterostomy later on. This port will be used mainly for the retraction of the liver on a pneumatic stabilizing arm. The third trocar is then placed on the midclavicular line, 20 cm from the xiphysternum on the patient's right hand side. The fifth port is then placed on the left lateral position below the ribcage. The operation starts with the surgeon's left hand grasping the fundus of the stomach. By gently pulling it downwards, the fibrous adhesions between the fundus, the diaphragm and the left cross are exposed. By using the electric cautery, these adhesions are freed until the left cross is identified. This is to facilitate the stapling of the fundus. Care must be taken not to work too closely to the esophagus, 